Mike Lincoln Felter destroys. <laughs> Uh, my fiance and I are going to New York City for our honeymoon, and one of my favorite things about New York is the way that people will romanticize what a wretched hive of scum and villainy it used to be. Like, man, I remember the old New York, back before it got all sanitized and disnified, back when you could slip your cabbie an extra 20 and you'd either get enough cocaine to give Andre the Giant a heart attack, or a bloody stump where your hand used to be! Back when you could get on the subway and not know if the guy next to you was alive or if he was just twitching around because of all the maggots crawling around inside of his hollowed out corpse. Back when stores only sold three things. Cigarettes, malt liquor, and porn. You want anything else? You mugged someone for it. I remember this one time I went out with nothing but the shirt on my back and these two fists. Literally, I wasn't wearing pants or nothing because you could do that kind of thing in those days because we were free. Alright? But I went out with nothing but the shirt on my back and these two fists and I came back home with Iggy Pop's left nut preserved in a mason jar of sake and a blue iguana named Socrates who could belch the Iliad and the Odyssey in Greek if you got him drunk enough. Back when the number one cause of death in the city was for roving bands of crack addled transvestite prostitutes to gang tackle you, rip your belly open with their fingernails, tear out your organs to sell to fancy restaurants who'd pass them off as avant-garde cuisine and then fuck your new holes. That's the New York I love, man. Not this namby-pamby fairyland where you can go to Macy's and try in a new pair of shoes and not even have to check them for needles first. It's bullshit. <laughs>